वेलकम बैक टू मैनेजिंग मेल बॉक्स कैलेंडर परमिशन इन एक्सचेंज सर्वर बाय डिफॉल्ट यूजर के नॉट व्यू द मैसेजेस और कैलेंडर आइटम्स ऑफ अदर यूजर्स एंड इन मोस्ट केसेस दिस सेटअप इज अप्रोप्रिएट हाउ इन सम सिनेरियोस यू माइट वांट टू चेंज इट बट कैलेंडर शेयरिंग इज अनदर सिनारियो वेर यू शुड मॉडिफाई मेल बॉक्स परमिशन एंड बाई डिफॉल्ट वेन यूजर वॉन्ट टू शेड्यूल मीटिंग विद अदर यूजर इन द सेम एक्सचेंज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन they will be able to check the availability status of other users that is called like free busy information any user who has an exchange server mailbox can control the level of information shared with other user in the same exchange organization especially for the calendar items each user can go to the calendar view in outlook right click the calendar and then select the sharing permission option and this will open the calendar properties dialog box and this you can configure the permission for a specific user or you can select the my organization option and then configure global permission to your calendar for all the user in the organizations the following options allow user to control access to their calendar information if you select the option none no details from your calendar will be shared if you select the option can view when i am busy this is a default setting and when this option is selected user from your organization can view the booked time slot in your calendar however they will not be able to access any details about these time slots and if you select the option can view titles and location user from your organization will be able to view the titles and location of the meeting in your calendar and if you select can view all details then user from your organization will be able to view the complete detail of your schedule on your calendar and if you select the option can edit user from your organization will be able to edit your calendar and if you are the administrator of exchange server organization you must use the exchange management shell to manage the permission on a user mailboxes and mailbox items to achieve this you should use the get mailbox folder permission and add mailbox folder permission commandlets you can use these commandlet to manage permission on any mailbox folder including calendar you can use the get mailbox folder permission add mailbox folder permission set mailbox folder permission and remove mailbox folder permissions let's see the demonstration of managing mailbox calendar permissions so i am logging as a sales one user let me sign in and let me go to the calendar of sales 1 and for example uh, i will select the date 20th of may and let me click on new and i will say meeting with doctor and i will save this if we go to the month you can see the full calendar here and on 22 i'll see car repair and the location would be service center this is an example i'm selecting and again i will click on save let's go to the month view again and on 26th let me make this private private meeting and you can select it as a private and you can schedule the time for example let's see let's select 10 am to 2 pm and i'll click on save so this is a calendar of uh, this user the sales one you can see we are logged in as a sales one so this is a calendar for this user and if we see the month you can see we have a meeting on 28th 22 and 26 now i want to share this calendar with sales two so you can go to the calendar right click and share permissions i will select the user as sales 2 here it is and now you have the permission if you want uh, him to see the full details you can select that but let me select the limited details only and now the limited details has been selected or you can select the multiple user with whom you want to share your calendar so let me click on send now let's log out from sales 1 and try to log in with the sales 2 user 
so now you can see we have invitation from sales 1 to sales 2 user and it says that sales 1 has invited you to view his or her Microsoft Exchange calendar if I accept it you can see the sales 1 calendar and we can see if I click on this meeting here you can see the meeting with doctor and if I go and click on this car repair here we see the title that is car repair and the location that is service center and this is something private appointment four hours private appointment this way the user sales too can know that this person is busy on this date for four hours so you can share your calendar and you can assign the permission according to you and if we go to the exchange management shell if I run this command get mailbox folder permission identity is sales1 at techiejack.local calendar if I hit this you can see the folder name calendar user is sales2 like we have given the permission to sales2 and the access right is limited details for example if you want to give a full permission to another user for this sales1 calendar you can run the following command and if I hit enter now the test one user also has a owner right on sales one calendar so let's meet in a next video and we will test the mail flow distribution group and send as permission